My name is Bill Fitzpatrick, and I work at the Grand Teton Brewing Company. Uh, we recently got a depalletizer from AIS. Before the depalletizer was uh, installed, we were using a, a nine rack moose like this to do nine beers on at a time while another employee was putting as many in their hands as they could. Uh, so the two people working in conjunction together would not even come close to what you can do with this uh, palletizer from AIS and just a few quick turns of the flywheel pretty much. Um, it's really practical um, as far as just being able to get beer bottles on but it also just it takes a two-person job makes a one-person job and that's that's huge for a small brewery like us just the entire bottling line is everything stepped up since we've we brought this in and it, and it does work really well for us My name is Ron Parody. I'm the head engineer at Grand Teton Brewing Company in Victor, Idaho. And we are one of the first recipients of one of these uh, uh, semi-automatic depalletizers. And, um, it's been a wonderful experience for us. It really worked with us right from the beginning. We took all the measurements ourselves, and of course we had to live and die by our own measurements to make sure that we were right. And uh, we not only we double checked and triple checked, but it was right up until the time when everything was getting put together, we still verified that everything was, was right. And uh, everything came just like they said it would, and they kept us appraised of the status of their production as it was going on, which is unusual to have such a close working relationship that we could just call up the lead engineer or any of the other project part engineers and uh, get instant input and feedback from what was going on. It's very simple. The design is simple, the operation is simple, and consequently because it's such a, a very straightforward and easy to operate piece of gear, the maintenance is simple. Uh, the, I would like it to be able to be a little more versatile in being able to handle uh, the uh, sloppy condition that pallets of glass sometimes come in. They don't come perfectly square all the time. They're not a uh, um, they're subject to the, all the handling of glass that goes on from the factory to maybe even different trucks and several trucks before it gets to us and then it goes into our warehouse and then it gets taken out of the warehouse and brought to the line. So it's handled many times so a lot of things can happen that can deform a shape of the pallet. Anybody can be trained on it. All you need is a good eye and patience. It's been a time saver and a manpower saver. Um, they should come out and uh, see it in action for themselves and try our gear.